Hey, what's up, guys? It's SilverQ here, and um, for this video, I wanted to talk. Uh, I wanted to give a few pointers about um, sort of what I do um, in terms of map movement, in terms of moving around the map. I tend to play uh, most of the time. I tend to play sort of a not really like rushing style because um, I'm not always sprinting around. But I, I like. I just feel like when I play the game, I don't really have the patience to sit and wait for people to come to me most of the time. It, you know, unless I'm going for a for a streak and I'm, like, I'm a couple kills away um, so I just tend to like, like I sort of rush their spawn I rush the flag that they're at um, and sometimes that gets me into trouble and sometimes it does sometimes it, it lets me do well so um, just a few things um, that I wanted to talk about were basically like when you're doing this you really need to watch your radar um, and you kind of have to I mean I think most people do but you kind of have to get in the habit of like always checking it even if you know even if you don't think that there's gonna be anybody there like I, I've kind of um, I've gotten into that habit. So right there, um, that's another point that I want to talk about is uh, you really want to, when you're moving around the map, like you're most likely you're going to, like in my play style, I'm going to be moving more than uh, than most people would. So, you know, people are going to be kind of waiting for other people to come to them, whereas I'm sort of the opposite. And so what I did like back there was I, I sort of went out into an area. Uh, I, I exposed myself too much and there were too many places where I could be shot from. And so I was... I could, there wasn't one area I could focus on, and so I kind of got into trouble. Um, and that that'll actually happen a lot. So that's that's one of the things to be careful of, and that you kind of learn the different points uh, on the map. So this area that I'm in right now is a very very common spawn point, uh, regardless of the flags that the other team has. Like people love to spawn there, or the game loves to spawn people there. Even if you kill somebody, you know, and then you start to run away because you think they're going to be somewhere else, you better turn around because they're probably going to be there again. So see, they just spawned somebody there. So um, it's really nice to be able to. Um, like running UAV is really nice. I don't think I'm playing with it this game, but I'm playing with people who are who are running with well, not UAV, but the spy plane. Um, and that's really good because you really want to be able to know where people are. Um, like for for especially for for my playstyle, I really need to have UAV on like a lot of the game because if I don't, then it kind of gets me into into bad situations. Um, so they had see they have the A flag, and I'm just kind of rushing in um, and. I don't want to, you know, I'm, I'm being a little cautious because I think I'm trying to get the chopper gunner here. Um, and I know that they should be, like, generally over in that area. But I'm also checking my back because they like to spawn here, which, you know, somebody just did. Um, I think this guy that I'm chasing is using Ghost. Um, yeah, so on this map, like, on, it's going to be different on other maps. But on this map, the map, or the area that I was just talking about, um, is sort of the the one area that the game loves to spawn people and sometimes it'll spawn like three guys when you when you know people on your team are in the area it'll spawn three enemies or more it'll spawn you know a lot of people there and so you can you can kind of get bum rushed especially if they know where you are when they when you spawn so if you kill somebody really close to that area and then they spawn there um, they're gonna know exactly where you are and you better be ready because they're gonna be coming for you um, and so they have you know if you don't know that they're going to spawn there, then they, they have a little bit of a surprise thing and they can just come and shoot you in the back. So I've gotten into the habit of like when I'm in this by the A flag towards that back spawn area, I always sort of turn around and check my back to make sure that nobody's there. Um, because there's been a number of times where I've just been shot in the back. Um, yeah, so another, another point about spawns is that uh, it's very difficult to spawn trap in this game, or at least from, you know from what I've seen so far and relative to Modern Warfare 2 and to Call of Duty 4, it's, it's difficult to spawn trap because the spawns will switch very, very frequently. Um, and that's, it's not really good or bad, I guess. I mean, it just, it is what it is. And so you kind of have to, like, like I was saying, you have to get used to people spawning behind you. You have to get used to people spawning in areas that you're not expecting because, um, the game just likes to switch up the spawns a lot. And so I haven't really, like, I haven't really figured out how to, how to spawn trap because I feel like maybe the in Modern Warfare 2 there was a certain area that you couldn't go into inside the enemy spawn, uh, and if you did, um, and you were there for too long, then they would start to spawn on you know on a different flag. So high rise was the best example because if you rushed into the building, into I mean into one of, one of the buildings, then they would start to spawn in the other building, and so um, in this game it's it's a, it's a lot less concrete it seems so far, and so um, you. You really just have to be on your toes and be aware of where they're going to spawn, or where they could. Well, where you you don't really know where they're going to spawn, but you be aware of where they could spawn. And so just kind of check your flanks, turn around, like don't leave your back exposed for too long. Um, now another another point I wanted to go back to what I was talking about earlier in terms of um, I'm just killing with the chopper gunner here, but I think I get shot down. Um, in terms of sort of 
exposing yourself too much. I feel like um, it's gonna hurt me more than other people because I'm, in terms of my playstyle, I like I like to I like to move around a lot more than other people, like I was saying before, and so. Uh, well, I need to be careful of sort of choke points where you come out of an area and there's like more than, you know, there, there's more than one area that you can be shot from. So um, you want to generally avoid those unless you feel like, you know, you have to, you know, move in, in that area because it, it, it becomes a problem because there's just, like you can't, um, you know, be ready most of the time. I mean, unless the guys that you're shooting at are like kind of bad. I thought I could get a triple spray there, but I couldn't. Unless the guys that are, you know, that are that you're playing against are pretty bad. Like you're most likely you're going to get shot because there's just too many areas that that you can't you can't cover all of them. Um, yeah. And so, in turn, like if you if you're going to move out into one of those areas, you want to get sort of generally get a little bit of cover. Um, don't expose yourself when you don't have to. So like what I t tend to do is like I'll run really really close to a wall um, and try to you know only expose myself at the last second so that if there's people watching the choke point then I can sort of get, catch them off guard a little bit I can get as close to them as possible without them seeing me so that I have a little bit of a jump on them um, yeah, so that's that's basically it on that um, the other thing that really helps me um, when I'm doing my like semi rushing is I play with a silencer so that people I, I get um, like I was saying I get a little bit of a jump because you know especially if I'm shooting at two guys like you know, I kill one guy and then his buddy might realize that his teammate just died, but he, he's not going to know where I am um, at, the, at that first moment, you know, unless he's like facing me. So if he's, if he's turned the other way, he's got to turn around and then look for me as opposed to just turning around and knowing exactly where I am because, look, because of looking at the radar. So playing with a silencer is really important. And although it does, um, it does affect the damage a little bit and the range, and I feel like it affects the recoil a little bit too on some guns. Um, I, I find that the, the advantages of playing with a silencer are like far outweigh the, the disadvantages. Um, so yeah, and another thing is uh, is playing with ghosts. So you like, I really want to stay off the radar um, because like it's, you can sort of shoot out any, any spy planes that go up, but sometimes it can sort of take away from, you know, especially if there's guys around you and all of a sudden a spy plane goes up, then you're going to be in trouble. So um, that's, that's another like, important thing to to be aware of is kind of staying off the radar um and i mean i guess another like something you could do is go with play, play with counter spy plane like counter counter uav or whatever whatever people want to call it radar jammer um and that that might work but um and ghost is really the the kind of go-to thing because you you pretty much always stay off the radar i think the only thing that you show up on is blackbird but then as soon as you get ghost pro then you can uh you can stay off of the blackbird um, so yeah, basically like what I do when I play is, is I try to protect the points because I really like winning. People that I play with really like winning. So I try to protect the points and um, try to make sure that we get the win. And I also try to go for a good, for a good kill death. So I'd, um, like I don't really like slow games, kind of boring games because um, I like to get a lot of kills and stuff. So like I'll, I'll turn, I'll tend to like rush in and, and like, like I was saying in the beginning, like sometimes some games that'll get me into trouble because you know, people are being a lot less mobile than I am and they're kind of sitting in sitting in cover and waiting for people to come to them and so that um, in games like that I get kind of frustrated because I'm you know I'm just too impatient to like wait and so yeah see this is an example of where somebody just spawned behind me and I'm kind of surprised that he didn't kill me um, I think I'd, I'd die here at some point because they just keep spawning enemies in the area I don't know maybe that was a different game but um Definitely and yeah, that's just a couple tips of what I like to do when I play the game to try and, you know, get a good KD, not die too much, but also be able to rush and sort of make the game exciting. Um, so hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, you know, if, if you liked the video, I'm trying to uh, put up some more videos like this, but just subscribe if you liked it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.